today I'm basically going to be doing a kind of review of every single hat I own on this wall. And obviously the teams being presented are the A's, Raiders, Warriors, and Sharks. Um, these aren't all my hats. I have hats of other teams that are not on this wall because I don't have enough room. But might as well get into it. This video could end up being long because there are a lot of hats to talk about. And this could easily be long. So starting up here in my top right is the A's alternate Kelly Green hat. This is the hat they wear usually once or twice a week to match the Kelly Green jerseys. On the side of the hat, there's a 50th anniversary patch, which they wore in 2018. Next is the 2018 batting practice hat. Not a huge fan of it because it's the material is a little bit strange. Um, it's more like a polyester, not a huge fan, but I like the logo. Next up, we just had the classic home A's hat, 5950 New Era. On the side, there's actually a um, 2018 postseason hat, or uh, patch, sorry. Next is just a brown A's hat. It's just a fashion hat. The A's don't actually wear it, but nonetheless, I like it. It's, kind of, it's unique. Not sure why it's brown, but I like it. Next is the 2019 Father's Day hat. I got this at the Father's Day game last year. I like it a lot, and yeah, I think it's cool to see a blue A's hat. The tie-dye looks really nice. Next is the 2019 batting practice hat. Um, I like it a lot, very simple. The elephant looks really nice, and I wear it a lot. Next is the early 2000s A's logo in Kelly Green. I like it a lot, got it a few years ago. Looks really cool. Okay, following that one, we have the 2016 um, Arizona spring training hat, which the A's wore just for one year in 2016 and 2017. Um, so two years and I like it a lot. It's really cool. I got it at a sporting goods store. Next, we just have another fashion A's hat. I got this one in Hawaii. It's just, it's brown leather with a gray design. Next, we just have a simple Oakland Athletics. This is their away hat. They wear every away game here. Next, we have the Kansas City A's hat. The A's, uh, if you don't know, used to play in Kansas City before they moved to Oakland. So I have a white and green A's Kansas City hat. Next up, we just have a Kelly green with yellow brim. However, on the side, there's actually a 1973 World Series patch, which would have been their second World Series in Oakland. So I like it a lot. It's really unique and yeah, really cool to represent the world series next we just have a camo and yellow ace hat which i think i got at one of the military night games i like it a lot um cool having a yellow ace hat as those don't exist that much next is just a nike ace black and gray hat with a shiny green logo not a huge fan of it but i definitely think it's cool very unique and don't wear it too much but i like it so next up we have the 2018 locker room playoffs hat yeah, postseason and 2019 postseason that they wore in the locker room when they clinched the playoffs. I like them a lot. Obviously they didn't end in the best outcomes, but nonetheless, I like them and they're cool. Moving on to the next row, we have an American Needle um, Oakland A's yellow and green hat. I love the colors. The hat's a little bit tight. It's a fitted so it's a little hard to wear but i love the design and i got it for a good price on ebay next we have the oakland larks which which was a baseball team that played in oakland before the a's was were here um that before they moved here and it was a giveaway at one of the a's games and it's really cool it's simple not a huge fan of it but it's okay next we have an a's hat and sharks in the sharks colorway which is teal and black i like it a lot i can wear it with a sharks jersey and it looks nice Next, we just have Oak, O-A-K, which is just the abbreviation for Oakland, obviously, in A's colors. Um, I got this one at a local shop, and I like it a lot. It's really cool, and I got it for a decent price. Next, before the A's played in Oakland and before they played in Kansas City, they played in Philadelphia, and this is a 1926 World Series hat in which the Philadelphia Athletics beat the New York Giants. So both of those teams moved from the East Coast to the West Coast. And yeah, that's Philadelphia. They used to wear blue and red, so that's why it's those that colorway. If in case you haven't noticed, it's actually the same logo as that one. 
So obviously inspired, these two inspired, and I like it a lot. I got it, it was pretty expensive, but it was worth it because you can't find too much vintage merchandise like that. Next, we just have a simple fashion hat, gray and green, like it a lot. Don't wear it too much, but I like it. It's a new era. Um, it's a snapback and yeah. Next, we have a gray and black A's hat. I like this one a lot because it's the Raiders colorway. Obviously, the Raiders are my favorite football team, so I could wear that with a Raiders jersey and it would go. So yeah. Next, you might be asking, is this just a blank hat with stripes? Like, what is this? It's a Philadelphia A's hat. The A's used to not have a design on their hats. Well, they have stripes, but they used to not have a logo or emblem on it. And on the side, there's actually a 1911, so over 100 years ago, World Series patch. Um, the hat's not from 100 years ago, it's a replica, but 1911 World Series. That's just pretty fascinating. Not sure who the A's beat, but it was definitely a really good era for baseball. So next up, we have, I showed this in one of the last videos, an A's trucker hat just right here. Well, I already talked about it in the video, so I won't put much detail into it, but got it on Fanatics, and I like it a lot. Next, we have the Stars and Stripes. It's 47 branded A's hat just right here. I like it a lot. Wore it on the 4th of July. It's really cool, and yeah, cool to represent America with the A's. Next, we have the A's alternate logo right here in just a 47 brand hat. Got it from the 47 website a few years ago. Like it a lot, and yeah. Pretty simple, I like it. This is the logo they wear on most of their sides, um, on their their, their uh, sleeves. Not on this one, because this is a replica of like a 1980s style, but that's their alternate logo. Next we have the Swingin' A's uh, patch, or sorry, logo on a just Kelly Green hat. It's 47 branded, it's a 47 captain. It's uh, actually autographed by Dan Otero, who was a pitcher for the A's uh, back in the day, uh, around 2015. Uh, the Swingin' A's was their nickname, and they kind of adapted it, and they made it into a logo. Next, we have uh, the Jewish Heritage Night uh, A's hats that says A's in Hebrew, and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Next, we have Warrior's Night at the Coliseum. We have um, A's, and I don't wear this one too much because it's very bright and very uh, eye-catching, which I guess is good, but it's a little too bright for me. It's the A's, and on the back of the hat, there's actually a Warrior's logo. So I find that kind of cool, showing tribute to the Bay Area. Uh, next, we have pretty similar, but the opposite. I like this one a lot more because I like blue as the main color more than yellow. We have the blue and yellow Ace hat, which was also on Warriors Night. I bought this one. It's a new era 3930. Next, we have a 47 brand. I got this at Dick's Sporting Goods. It's a it's a tribute. Sorry, trucker hat for the A's. For those of you that watched my last video, you know I love trucker hats. So. I had to get this and got it at Dick's Sporting Goods, like I said, and it's really cool. Next, also from Dick's Sporting Goods, we have the 2020 batting practice hat, but I got it in black. They had a black version, which I think is cool, and it also kind of goes with Raiders stuff. So, yeah, that's that. This is just, this is kind of a, a Bay Area thing, but the A's co um, collaborated with a record store in the Bay Area, and their logo is a skull, so... That's that's this hat. Um, it's pretty cool. I love the design. It's made by Evans Field Flannels, and which is a vintage sports company. And really cool. I like it. Simple, and the skull looks really nice. So next, moving, we're on. We're done with the A's now, and we're moving on to the Warriors. So starting off, we have the NBA champions 2015. Oh yeah, and by the way, all the champions hats are in chronological order. So just letting you guys know. So the first we have the 2015 NBA champions hat is the locker room one obviously they wore really awesome experiencing that championship five years ago can't believe it's five years ago it feels so recent but yep 2016 they didn't win it I know they didn't win it this is a finals hat so they lost the finals obviously it was a disappointing loss but I got the finals hat so that when they celebrated going to the finals Next, we have the 2017 NBA Finals hat. So it's basically the same as this in terms of they celebrated going to the finals by wearing these. And then later, we had these when they won. This is the champions of 2017. Next, we have the 2018 NBA Champs. Love that one. It's really one of my favorite Warriors hats I own. And really nice, sleek design. Next, we have the 2019 NBA Finals. They lost that, obviously, to the Raptors. 
Then these next two are the town. This is the 2019 City Edition 2020. Um, these are paying tribute to Oakland. They're home for 47 seasons. And yeah, I love them a lot. They're black and gray, just like the Raiders. So I love that, and I can wear it with a Raiders thing. Next, it might be kind of hard to see, but this says Oakland Warriors. This is a tribute that the Warriors did in honor of Oakland because they played there for 47 years, like I said. And they made an Oakland line. They're not called the Oakland Warriors, but they made an Oakland line for Oakland fans. Next, we have the Chinese New Year um, Warriors hat. I like it. It's a Mitchell and Ness. Then, following that, we just have a simple yellow and blue Warriors hat. We have the opposite of that with a blue Warriors hat with a yellow brim. It's a Mitchell and Ness, and it's actually autographed on the side by Stephen Curry. Next, we're moving on to the Sharks. So I put this one next to that because they're similar. This is a Sharks hat in Warriors colors. Yep, you heard that right. They collaborated for some sort of specialty night, and that's why it's in those colors. Next, I don't know why it's purple, but I have a purple and teal Sharks hat. The Sharks do not wear purple. They never have, but no, it's cool. I like it, and it was cheap, and it's New Era, which there aren't many NHL New Era hats. Next, we have a Sharks trucker hat. Like I said before, it's similar to that in terms of design, this Ace one. I like trucker hats a lot. I got it from Target, actually. And Target, I wouldn't recommend buying like hats from Target, usually, because they're not like that high of quality. But this one was really cool, so I got it. Next, we have an American Needle Sharks hat. This is the 1990s logo. like it a lot. Really simple. And I got it for a good price. Next, we have the 2016 Stanley Cup hat for the Sharks. They lost the cup, obviously, but it was really cool to have. Following that, we just have a Fanatics branded Sharks hat. It's just simple teal Sharks hat. Moving down to the next row. We have a 2019 NHL All-Star Game hat, which was in San Jose, which is the Sharks home stadium, which was really cool. I didn't go to the game, but I bought the hat because I just really think it's cool to have a big sporting event like that near in the home stadium of my favorite team. So... Technically, we're done with the Sharks, but these two hats were the original Bay Area's hockey team that played here. So we have, they're called the, the Seals or also the Golden Seals. They switch between those names. So we have the California Golden Seals hat right here. It's Fanatics branded. I got it about a year ago. Really cool. It's in the A's color. So like I can technically wear it with an A's jersey like this and it'll go with it. Next, we have an Oakland Seal. So they switch names. Um city names to appeal more it's black and green looks really nice next we have a hat that's basically the same thing as this one they're actually in line with each other up here however this one's in the raiders colorway as this one's in the ace colorway this one's in the raiders oak oak whatever you want to say it it's really cool i like it and i wear it a lot it goes with raiders stuff really nicely next we have a raiders trucker hat oakland raiders um it says which i really like it fanatics put it out as part of their final season in Oakland, it was really nice to buy. Got it for a good price because Fanatics put all the Oakland stuff on sale. And I really like it. And wear it. It's one of my favorite Raiders hats I have. Next, it's hard to see because this one's kind of covering it. But it says Oakland Raiders, just the script. One of my favorites too because it says Oakland. And I got it recently uh, in like March. And I really like it. And I, one of my favorite Raiders hats I own. I talked about th getting this one in my last video. It's the Raiders trucker hat also. It also says Ho Oakland. I love it a lot. It's very bold. Font is big. I like it. Next, I'm not sure why it's this color, but I have a baby blue Raiders hat. The Raiders have never worn any colors except black and silver and white. So I'm not sure why it's blue, but it's a fashion hat. I like it a lot. Uh, don't wear it too much because it doesn't, like I said, doesn't really resemble the Raiders too much, but it's okay. So the next few hats are kind of hard to see, so I'm just gonna move the camera so they're easier to view. This baby blue one, we have another trucker hat, but this one doesn't say any of the city, it just is the Raiders. Uh, like it a lot, like the stripes. Next is a Raiders, just, no, it looks like a normal hat, right? But it actually glows up, it lights up, there's lights in the logo, you press a button and it lights up. Next, we have a Carthart Raiders hat, Carthart, it's a, actually 47. But Carhartt collaborated with 47, made a line of hats with the NFL. And the, I got the Raiders one. I like it a lot. I like it's brown. It's cool. And yeah. And the f last but not least, we have, I'm not a huge fan of this one, but it's a Raiders like tie-dye style hat. 
Um, not a huge fan of it, but it's okay. It was kind of an impulse buy, but it's interesting. I like it. It's unique. So with that, that'll end the video. Uh, comment down below what your favorite hat is and uh, follow Casey.football on TikTok. Thank you, guys.